Welcome to this video review. Today I'm going to talk about Zeiss Terra ED 8x42 binoculars. As you probably know, Zeiss is one of the most famous optical producer in the world. It's also one of the oldest, 150 years. And they, in this 150 years, uh, they went through many ups and downs and uh, through really interesting phases. Um, as you probably know, this size, which is in front of us now, um, it, it, 30 years ago it was named uh, Karl Zeiss West Germany because there was also Karl Zeiss Jena in East Germany and so on. So a lot of history, a lot of patents, a lot of new technologies and so on. So Zeiss is one of the main brands in, in sport optics. Uh, they're based in Wetzlar. Uh, the sport optic uh, optics division. However, in 2019, one year ago, they started to move slowly all their operations to uh, Oberkochen, to another city in Germany. Uh, these binoculars, however, are not made in Germany. They're made in China. So uh, the reason for it is that about 10 years ago, Zeiss decided to go into entry-level classes of optics because, you know, they always produce victory scopes and binoculars and they were always in top class most expensive best quality and so on but then i think that size duralit was one of their first i would say not tries but one of their first products which went into the um, into the mid class so 1000 euro class of rifle scopes. Then they came out with Conquest, Conquest HD 8x42. Before that, it was just a Conquest. Uh, previous models were made in Hungary. Then they came out with Conquest HD, uh, which was made in Germany. So again, with binoculars in 1,000 euros price class. And they were very successful there. The Conquest HD at the moment is still one of the best, if not the best binoculars you can buy for 1,000 euros. They have a close competition against uh, Leica Trinovit and it's the differences are so small that it's really hard to say which one is better. And the next step for them was to introduce Terra. So first they introduced Terra rifle scopes made in Japan and then afterwards they introduced Terra ED uh, binoculars made in China. This was in 2017, three years ago. So entry level really affordable binoculars by size. Uh, 500 euros. So. You can also see design by size, but here you can see, I hope you see it, China. Um, and it was a very controversial decision, to be honest. I will talk about more about this at the end, where I go through the sweet and sour of these binoculars. Uh, so a really, I would say, interesting choice by size. But let's go through the physical properties. Uh, as you can see, really nice modern design. It's size logo. You can get these binoculars either in gray or black. You can see here are black and here are gray. Uh, rubber exterior, plastic housing, um, 720 grams, so about average weight, 14 centimeters of height, 12 centimeters of width, filled with nitrogen. They work from minus 25 to plus 75 degrees Celsius. Perfect for traveling. Waterproofed, filled with nitrogen. They will not fog in, in, uh, at low temperatures. Um, they also come with a carrying bag. A nice one. Carrying strap made out of neoprene. A really good one, to be honest. Um, lens covers. The eyepiece lens covers, which are very similar to those found on Conquest and a cleaning cloth. So standard uh, in the box configuration. So next, if I go to the eyepieces, three positions. So standard position for those who wear glasses, intermediate position somewhere yeah, here, quite firm, good support. And then the last, the highest position for everybody who doesn't wear glasses. Uh, 18 millimeters of uh, eye relief, really easy to use with glasses. And um, the opter setting is on the right optical tube, which is very, very soft. I think it's too soft. It could, it should have been a little bit firmer because the eyepieces itself are firm 
a nicely made rubber at the end so really comfortable so the focusing mechanism is central and it's only one turn so it's really really fast I would say more suitable for birders and hikers than for hunters because you know that hunters usually need a slower focus a more accurate focus which is easier to use for um, for the animals which don't move that fast because usually we know with hunting um, the animals are more still than with birding where you have birds which fly really fast <clears throat> the feel of the focus is nice it's smooth uh, it's consistent through the whole turn and also the grip is uh, it's good enough the close focus is 1.6 meters which is which is really good to be honest and anything below two meters is really good uh, the focusing itself is however too fast for hunting like we said so <clears throat> here we come to the optical performance eight time magnification and 42 millimeter objective lens standard uh, 125 meters of field of view which is also average i would say and normally roof prisms schmidt and pechen type we know that with more expensive binoculars, especially with the uh, Victory HD binoculars, uh, with size you can even get Abe Koenig prism binoculars, uh, prisms, normally not in a binoculars for 500 euros. Um, all the lenses are fully multi-coated, and I would say the apparent field of view is also average, maybe even a little bit better than average, but not even close to, let's say, Conquest HD or Victory SF. Um, and we came to the last part of my review, which I usually call sweet and sour. So I go through the positives, what I think is really good with these binoculars, and I go through all the, I will not say negatives, but very still room for improvement. So I will talk a little bit more extensively with these binoculars in this uh, part of the review, because I think there are a couple of issues or at least a couple of topics that need to be addressed first what is really positive the design the modern design the nice feel of the materials it's really really nice also everything what you get together with the binoculars the carrying strap the eyepiece covers and so on it's uh, carrying back everything is really nice <clears throat> I also like the choice of two colors even though it would be much easier if you, they would just produce either gray or black <clears throat> i also think that the eyepieces are really nice they're firm and they offer good support much better than many competitors for 500 euros the focusing is also nice especially if you're a novice bird watcher not that much if you're a hunter for hunters the focus will be too fast um, What's also positive is the size brand, because you're buying a binoculars which brand is 150 years old. Really something special. The positive is also the close focusing distance, 1.6 meters. Very, very good. So where is room for improvement? Optical quality, definitely. Uh, objective lens covers could have been done better. Sometimes they fall out. Uh, the warranty it's only two years <clears throat> and the field of view with 125 meters it is not bad but not really good that also i would say it doesn't exceed the class expectations and now i come to the last point the choice of size to offer 500 euros binoculars on the market um, it's a very controversial choice because if you look at their competitors swarovski the cheapest binoculars in this class from Swarovski are 1,600 euros, the SLC. Then if you look at Leica, uh, they have the Trinovit, which is 1,200 euros and competes directly with Conquest HD. And then the entry level of size is Terra with 500 euros. And because this brand is so famous and because it does in all other sectors offers top premium products. If you look at the Victory SF binoculars, they are among the best, among the <clears throat> those three, no Leica, Noctivit and um, Swarovski EL. It's really hard to say which one is the 
absolute best, but definitely the size Victor ASF is, is there or it's really close. Then with Conquest HD, again, it's one of the best binoculars you can buy for 1000 euros. And then these expectations, they go down all the way to Terra. And you get a decent binoculars for 500 euros and good value and everything. But with that size logo and with that size heritage, you expect much more. And this, I think, will be the biggest problem of, of Terra because when you see size, it means quality. And these binoculars are okay, but they are not premium, top quality, what you would expect from size. Even bigger problem is that I know that in Germany, in, in, in Great Britain and so on, these binoculars will be mostly used for for I would say hikers and for uh, travelers and so on for as, as a you buy binoculars to go on a, on, a, on a trip or something like that but in some other parts of, of Europe especially Eastern Europe and so on people will say okay size is the best optics and they will buy these binoculars for hunting and they will expect to get the quality of a Conquest HD or, or Victory SF to, to get the top premium quality and honestly speaking, there is not many 500 euros binoculars that could be used for hunting with great success, to be honest. But when you're buying a 500 euros binoculars from some less established brand, the expectations are lower. When you're buying size, the expectations are really, really high. So my advice would be, if you wish to have size, buy the Conquest HD. It's really the best binoculars if you're buying it for hunting or for bird watching. If you're buying something for traveling, this can be a perfect binocular. If you're buying something for hiking and so on, this can be a really, really good choice. But uh, the expectations need to be adjusted. And if you have some pre prior experience with size, your expectations need to be adjusted. And you have to understand this is a 500 euros binoculars, not a 2000 euros binoculars, even though it wears the same batch. So I think this will be the biggest problem of this, of this product, because a lot of people will expect that they will get a size German premium quality, and normally in a 500 euros class this is impossible. And this is the reason why only time will tell if the decision to produce, uh, to offer, they didn't even produce it, they only designed it, uh, to offer 500 euros binoculars was a smart choice for size or, or if it wasn't. Okay, thank you for watching. Please check our other reviews. Uh, and if you have any additional questions or are you in search on any additional information, please check our webpage or send us an email.